I added some fun paint splatters to create a feeling of movement around the bee and give the impression that it's flying through the air. Hi, I'm Anna Mason. Welcome to this episode of Nature Studio TV, here to help you become the artist you want to be. In this mini class, my friend Jennifer Rose will take you through the process that she followed when she painted this sweet bumblebee in her loose watercolour style. Let's take a look. Bees are a really fun and quick subject to paint. They're gorgeous as the main subject of a painting and can be a lovely touch to other compositions too. Here's the process I followed. I started by making my drawing, ensuring I outlined all of the areas where there are different shapes of colour. I then began the layering process by applying a watery wash of paint in every colour area, starting with the yellow. When that was dry, I used artistic licence and added a purple colour, which might be surprising as it's not an obvious colour you'd expect to see on a bee. But purple and yellow are complementary colours, so I wanted to include this colour to enhance the overall look of the bee. I built up the midtones using brown, taking care to leave areas where the white paper was still showing through, as these would be my highlights at the end. I continued creating more contrast with the browns and blacks, then went back to the yellow areas to darken them some more. To finish the bee, I added another layer of purple colour, adding some final adjustments as I went along. Lastly, I added some fun paint splatters to create a feeling of movement around the bee and give the impression that it's flying through the air. With that, my painting was complete. A full-length video class of this bumblebee is available now for free at naturestudio.com, where students have been getting great results. If you've enjoyed this mini-class, please subscribe to this channel, then pop over to naturestudio.com where you can sign up for this and other free classes to help you capture the beauty of nature on your paper. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.